What's up, what's up, you sexy beasts? Today, we're gonna take a look at Annabelle, the water occult. Annabelle, why do I have to? Annabelle, that's creepy. Annabelle, the water occult girl. Yeah, that's creepy. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not so It's creepy, but I'm not sorry. So we're gonna take a look at Annabelle, the water occult girl. Why she's considered from a lot of people one of the best monsters in the game. Okay. Your leader skill increases the critical rate of ally monsters with water attribute by 38%. It's very, um... <laughs> yes, it's good for the current arena meta that everyone's using fire monsters, so water is nice against them. But damn, you need to have monsters that are water that need high crit rate for this too. Okay, so it's not the greatest everywhere, but it's a big boost. It's a 38% is a big boost. All right. Aside from that, what does she do? What does Annabelle do? She's a support monster. She has her first skill, Help Me Teddy. Summons a, t a Tiadi Bear. I always I always forget about that, and then I always see it, and I laugh. I'm like, uh, a Tiadi Bear. They still haven't fixed it. Come to us. What the fuck? You still haven't fixed it. To attack the enemy. This monster's been out for a year. You still haven't fixed it. Or maybe, maybe nine months. I don't know. So It's a long time. This attack has a 20% chance to forcibly put the enemy to sleep for one turn. Acquires another turn if the enemy falls asleep. Okay. So, we have a built-in violent proc on the first turn. On the first turn. The unfortunate thing is, like, you can... It, it, it kind of works against her sometimes, because she can put the enemy to sleep, then acquire another turn, and then, like, attack the same enemy and wake them up and then maybe they don't like she doesn't she doesn't get that land that sleep again so sometimes it works like when um when you're not controlling her it uh it doesn't work to her advantage to wake them right back up afterwards but it is what it is it is it's still a nice first skill uh built-in violent proc okay and we have girl's prayer removes the harmful effects of all allies and recovers their hp recovery amount is proportionate to your attack power which is nice um, it's like the water, it's like, she's like a pimped out water Garuda, right? She's like a pimped out Konamiya. All right, and then we have the third skill, Water Guardian Angel attacks enemies three times, dealing damage proportionate to your max HP. Each attack has a 30% chance to decrease their defense for three turns. Ah, <sighs> AoE heal, cleansing of harmful effects, and AoE defense break. And she can she can AOE defense AOE defense break for three turns and then she attacks two more times on top of that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so you can even put um, since one is um, this is uh, proportionate to her attack power. This is proportionate to her HP. She's kind of she needs runes all around. So we're gonna take a look at what the uh, I think that we might find some different rune builds on each of these. Watch. It's the same rune build on each of them, but we'll we'll take a look and we'll see uh, what she's got. I think she's gonna be violent a lot of the time, uh, maybe violent revenge sometimes. I don't know. We'll we'll find out. All right. So there we go. There we go. She could be despair. She does have an AOE. We'll take a look at uh, at how much. I think we might see crit damage on four though. I think with a high crit rate uh, with a crit rate leader skill. I think we might see uh, crit rate on uh, crit damage on four, so I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. Okay, we'll do water guardian angel, and we'll see. Yeah, we're on we're on one. Twenty-eight, forty. Okay, okay. So we did what? We did like thirteen thousand damage AOE altogether, but we had that uh, that attack power and the uh, and the defense break. Okay. And then we'll see uh, no attack power buff, but we'll see the first skill in action. We have 78, uh, 73. Okay. Another defense break. First skill again. 77. Did we? We didn't even crit on that one, did we? She should be critting though. I don't think we crit on that one. Alright, there we crit. There we crit. And then let's see how much we do on the element disadvantage. Okay. 5,000. Uh, 
No, you know what? I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the backspin slash, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal. We're gonna see how much she heals for girl's prayer. Okay, nine thousand. I just wanted to make sure that we saw the heal, even though we didn't need to. Sometimes, sometimes I read the comments, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> and they were like, "You should use the heal, even if you don't need to heal." And I'm like, "That's really actually a good point. I should do that." And then we kill him with the pirate strike. Great job showcasing Annabelle. All right. All right. So we'll go take a look at Guelcon. Thank you, Guelcon, for letting us use your Annabelle. So let's see where she is. Okay. Man, she has like no good monsters. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so this is where all of your well, where all of everyone's Nat fives have gone. Alright, so we have we have seventeen, eighteen, eighteen thousand three hundred uh HP. We have high attack. Wow. Wow. Well her her okay, here's the thing, her heal is based on her attack power. Okay. That's why we have high attack. But her, um, her third skill is based on her, on her, whatchamacallit, her HP. So we have a low crit rate. We have a low crit rate. But we, we also don't have, uh, crit damage. So she doesn't have crit damage on four. Okay, so we have attack. We have fatal and energy. Okay. Well, I mean, the third skill is based on her HP. The second skill is based on her, um, her attack power. And then we have attack here. I would just go... You know what I would do? I would go for, like, the best all-round runes that I could get for this girl. That's what I would do. Crit damage, HP, attack resistance. And we do have that, uh, what is her crit damage at the end of the day? Defense, attack, HP. This is good all-round. I would, I would like to have, um, I would like to have more crit damage and crit rate and stuff like that on there. And speed, of course. But, yeah, I would just go for the best all-around runes on this girl possible. So we have... Help me Teddy, which is harmful. Okay, so it's a 25% chance after it's skilled up. Girl's Prayer, Water Guardian Angel, harmful effect rate, defense break. This is really nice to have in your arena defense because it's nice to have an AoE, especially a three turn AoE defense break is awesome. Awesome, great arena defense monster actually. So if you have her not bad for not bad for arena defense at all at all but the accuracy the accuracy could be higher we do still need accuracy for her first and third skill so yeah accuracy crit rate crit damage could be higher her speed at least she's got some a little bit of speed on there so speed could be higher as well the speed could always be higher speed is never a bad thing all right so let's take a look at the the second one all right, who is the second one? Eid Peard. No, we'll, we'll do uh, we'll do we'll do the hoe. We'll do the hoe first. I don't know which one has better runes on it or or whatever. All right, immunity. So what? Violent will. I'm thinking. All right, we'll see how much damage this does. Okay, about this uh, about the same as the first one. Okay, so we did violent proc, so we are on violent will. All right. So if we're on violent will, that means that that is in his arena defense. I would guess. Either that or he just had really good violent runes. I mean, uh, really, really good, really good. Me and talking. Oh my god, really good will runes is what I meant to say. So let's see how much he's gonna heal for. Okay, less he heals for less than um, than the other one, which means he's got less attack than uh, than Guelcon's. All right, we'll just we'll just uh, time to loot. I mean, not we'll we'll time to loot later is what I meant to say. All right, so nine thousand eight hundred. <laughs> Galleon, stop killing shit. All right. There we 
what you got, what you got. Okay, not... We, we still killed him. We still killed him, but we didn't do, like, a ridiculous, tremendous amount of damage. Oh, there... That's not bad. That's not bad with the attack buff and the defense break. Okay, let's see how he has him ruined. Let us see. Hmm. That's right, the one with the the one with the penis on it. <sighs> the one with the penis on it. Uh Judic. Yep. Alright, let's see how he's got his Anavel. Okay, so we have more HP on his uh on his Anavel. A little a little bit. Like what, two thousand more HP, I think. We have less attack. Um, we have, like, I think one different speed. I think the other one was, uh, plus 28, right? Crit rate, crit damage. Uh, I think it's about the same. Accuracy is higher, though, so that's the big thing. We have a little bit higher HP, uh, lower attack, and accuracy. But we do have violent will. So, so there. So we have, like, extra stuff that these runes can do. So we have attack, uh, defense, speed, crit damage... We have attack with speed, crit damage, HP, and we have HP, attack, accuracy. That's not bad. That accuracy rolled high, and speed and ac uh, did I say accuracy rolled high? That attack rolled high. Them. All right, so we have, what do we have here? We have speed, resistance, attack, HP. We have accuracy, defense, crit rate, HP. We have accuracy. Wow. Accuracy plus 22 on that one. Attack and defense. All right. And then we see the skill ups over here. Fully skilled up. I guess. Yeah. Fully skilled up. All right. All right. Okay. So let's see. Who's the last one? e -peered, I think. e -peered. All right. What you got going on, e -peered? See how let's see how Edpier does for his. I'm surprised I haven't seen actually I think his might be like the most uh probably the strongest. We'll see. Alright, Water Guardian Angel. Five thousand, four thousand, five thousand, okay. Yep. Yep. Alright, help me Teddy. 11,000 and gets another so it's on violent all right and we crit so high crit rate crit damage on four and we're on violent and what else we're on violent something violent something did i she's not a nemesis right is she so we'll time we'll time to loot and we'll see uh, with the attack buff and the defense break how much uh Oh you know what? Let's use her. We still have some time, because it's a two turn defense break, so we'll see how much the heal is for. Alright, eight thousand, so the same as um So we have the same attack power, so plus twelve hundred is gonna be the attack power of uh this one. The base attack plus like twelve hundred ish. Nice. So we have crit damage on we have okay, crit damage on four. So attack, crit damage, attack? No. No. Attack, crit damage, something. All right. Bam. You could suck on that. Oh my god, that amazing, that amazing guard rune. All right. <sighs> yeah. So let's see. Oh my god. Some of these monsters he has, man. All right, so we have, okay, crit rate 66, crit damage 151. We have lower accuracy than the uh, the last one we saw, but higher, higher than the first one. Like I said, the attack was around 1,200. The base plus 1200. I was five off. It's pretty. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. HP is low though. Oh my god, HP is low, and speed is about um, about average for the uh, 
the stuff that uh, the other one had. Okay. Violent Nemesis. Did I? I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice we were. Well, we didn't get hit a lot, did we? They were probably hitting Galleon. All right, attack. Crit rate, HP, speed. Crit damage, speed, HP, crit rate, attack. And then attack. Isn't that what I said? Attack, crit damage, attack. And then I was like questioning myself. All right. And so we're gonna heal. I mean, it's attack is better for the heal, and attack also does benefit the third skill, but also HP benefits the third skill as well. So, so yeah. But this is this is the strongest. This is the strongest of the Annabels. She does do a damn crazy amount of damage. Damn, a damn fine monster, if I do say so myself. Now we have crit damage, HP, crit rate, resistance. That's good room. And then we have resistance, crit rate, accuracy, a little bit of crit damage up there, and defense, accuracy, crit rate, attack. Now we'll go to her skills. Wow! Not even... Not even... So she could... She, if she gets some devil mons, she could do more damage. But then again, I mean, I'm sure he's got he's got other stuff that he wants to put devil mons into, like, um... He's got Vanessa. So I guess Vanessa's what he's putting his devil mons into now. And he's got... Yikes. <laughs> So that's uh, that's what he's got going on with that, but uh, and we did we did a spotlight. If you guys want to go check my channel, my uh, my other videos out for the spotlight on Asima, we did that uh, before. So yeah, Annabelle number three, probably the strongest of of the three in my opinion. This is uh, this is what I like on her, but she does uh, she does only have fifteen thousand hit points. So keep that in mind. So keep that in mind. But, yeah. <sighs> so lovely. I know, I know, right, Annabelle? I know. Oh my god, I'm excited too. Alright, guys. <laughs> now I'm getting ridiculous. It's time to stop the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, as usual. And I will see you in the next video. Right, Annabelle? Uh-huh, that's right. Alright, see you later, Annabelle. And see you guys later too.